we we'll bless God again. Um, I'm going to be repeating a particular um, broadcast that I did and I discovered that the voice was not there. So I'm sorry for some days off. We're back by the grace of God. And um, I will copper up as the Lord give the grace and the Lord enables I will copper up. Maybe I also repeat some of the um, courses I suppose we have done in the last um, few days. So wherever you are watching from, please mention your name, mention your country, mention where you are watching us from. Let us know where you are watching from. Let us know. Okay, okay. So at the end, I will be, I will be telling us. I will be mentioning our names. You are free to pass your comment. Uh, we have started something which I want to conclude today. I want to conclude today so that we go to the next topic, which has to do with the stagecraft, the technology, and all those stuff, and which are going to make it practical. So anytime we are doing practicals, we're going to make it there. So after the class, like this academic, this is an academic part of it, and um, the academic part of it is very, very serious that um, I have to make sure that everything I do, it's, um, it's, it's great. So once again, I want to appreciate God for the privilege given to me to be here again. And uh, please share with others people, uh, share with others, share with other people, subscribe and all that so that anytime I'm online, you will be notified that I'm online. You can also invite your friends. You will see the button there. You can invite your friends. Uh, as you're sharing, you can invite your friend to join. Now, we started the history, the, 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 the history of theater. And I also talk about the drama, theater, the theatrical artist, the theatrical production, the difference and all that. Then I want to quote, I want to repeat a quote, which I couldn't um, finish in one of the, I didn't get it very well because I quote it off and, and, um, and I didn't get the right thing at a particular time. So I want to um, repeat it again. And well, that is the, uh, when I talk about the audience essential, when I was talking about the elements of theater and all that. So, I talk about G. L. Stan, 1975. He put it more simply when he says that in the mesh of in the mesh of every successful performance, the signals from the script to the actor, and from the actor to the spectator, and back again, complete a dramatic circuit of which the audience is an indispensable part. The audience is an indispensable part, and uh, G. A. O. E. What Ph. D. says something that. Um, make us to understand that the young analogy is conceived in terms of electricity co electricity current that is the, the the script typifies the positive wire and the actor the negative and the audience the natural the neutral and the combination of the trial it transmits the generated power so when you have the three things and all that then to the world and all that so that's one of the things i've said so back to the history of theater in nigeria which i I have spoken a bit and all that. I want to quickly talk about it. And I said, a reference book I'm using, The Study of Theater, a revised version, Akinloye. And like I said, deliberately, I started with our Father in the Lost book, uh, Evangelism, my Bam Eloy. We are talking about drama, which I use extensively. So we're going to be having it um, by pursue. So that's why I, I've gone to a way of uh, the research, the technical work, and all that. I've gone in the way of that. And like I said, we're trying to improve daily so that we improve daily. We do a lot of things to make um, what we do meaningful. And those are the things that um, I'm expecting. So whatever you're watching from, tell us I'm watching from Ondo State. I'm watching from Quara. I'm watching from Belgium. I'm watching from this. Please just let them share with your friends. Share with them. Invite them. And God bless you. Now, the, the, the modern theater in Nigeria the development of modern theatre in Nigeria at its roots is deep root in the church. And I told us that drama started in the church in Nigeria. It's, it's our property. It's our property. So we are taking it back by the grace of God because the kingdom belongs to us. We need to possess that kingdom for Jesus and we need to take it over for Jesus. So the development of modern theatre, the modern theatre has its root in the church theatrical activities which I've already spoken in one of the videos. So please watch all the videos. And please, um, if you can hear me confirm, I can hear you. So, all right. So, like I said, this is because the earliest effort made in the regard by certain individual started in the church, 
were where we were based on the biblical stories. Most of their messages were based on biblical stories meant to serve the church congregations at that time. It was meant to serve the church congregation at, at that time. So in tracing the emergence of modern theater in Nigeria, due to recognition must be given to due recognition must be given to some people who actually did a lot of wonderful thing. They did a lot of wonderful thing, I must confess. They they really, really did a lot of wonderful things. But some they don't have a record. And one of the posts I, I, I did as, as a drama minister, please keep records. Keep records. Mm. Excuse me. In fact, I have to go, I have to go back into the archives to see a lot of things. I have to go back to archives to see a lot of things to make sure that wow, I need to put a lot of things uh in, in place. Like I said, if you have not shared this, please go to the share button, share with your friends and families. You can also invite your friend as you are watching. It's very, very important because by the grace of God, we are back by the grace of God. And like I told you, this 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 live broadcast every day, um, or periodically as the Lord enables, and it could be two, three times in a day, I don't know. So, but because of the days that have not been online, for the days that have not been online, I want to cover up because we have a lot, we have the curriculum we use for this online uh, school. So, to cover up so that I can meet up with the well, with something and every Saturday by the grace of God every Saturday uh, except this coming Saturday even every Saturday in the evening if I cannot do it in the morning I do it in the evening every Saturday by the grace of God we're going to be taking uh, feedbacks feedbacks review tell us how the week has been tell us that we can also come with a topic and all that so I'm, I'm so happy I'm so excited that um, you can invite your friends now I saw the button you can invite your friend you can invite people to join us you are watching online um, thank you so much like I said please if you are watching if you are hearing me let me see your notes drop your note I'm watching my name is also so it's we and also discover that when people start something the other people follow so uh, I saw some people but I just want you people to write your name by the grace of God so now in tracing the emergence of the modern theater it was it was a very huge thing that due recognition must be given to the effort of some elites in Lagos towards the end of 19th century, 19th century, who engaged in some considerable theatrical presentation at their own exclusive expense. In fact, prominent among these elites are King Elegibo, King Elegibo and Prince Abeje, King Elegibo and Prince Abeje. These people did a wonderful thing, whose presentation occasionally come in opera, you know, opera when you use dance and drama to interpret something. So, uh, thrilled their audiences in the Global Hall, Global Hall in Lagos, Global Hall. J.P. Clark mentioned that Global Hall in, in 1980. He has a record of that. Unfortunately, either because they were not scripted or were not properly kept, no title of their drama, no title of their drama, no title of their presentation is available to your date. And that's so painful. I must confess, when I got to this thing, when I got, I, 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 have to, I have to look at myself, bro, are you keeping records? Are you keeping records? Are you keeping records? So if you're keeping records, then you have to do something. I said, okay, okay, I need to keep records. Oh, I've been keeping records, but I thought I have, but I can't, I, I, I may not remember everything. So uh, you have to keep record. And I saw that. I said, However, the singular effort of one man making to become a doyen of theater today, the singular effort of one man making to be recognized, the singular effort of one man make it, make it, make it be a, 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 a turning point for theater in Nigeria. And the good news is he started in the church. That's the good news. Therefore, the singular effort of late Chief Hubert Ogunde, who, 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 who actually took a, a, a step further in doing a lot of things. And here is what um, the Frau say. he said, he likely responsible for development of modern theater, especially the popular tradition in Nigeria. It all started in early 1940s, when as a choir master of the breakaway Aladura Church, Ebute Meta, Lagos. I told you the, the history, how people started, they went to, when they saw the Greek period, the Renaissance period, and all that. And I said, okay, let us talk about our own, which we are more connected, and I want the history. And by the grace of God, later in this broadcast, not today, but by the grace of God, I'm coming up 
especially with the with with the with the with the with the with the, the history of Christian drama. The history of Christian drama. I've started some on the work of that Christian drama. So, but this is the history of the Christian drama. I also want to do the history of an evangelical Christian drama. The advent of the Mike Bamiloye um, and so many other people that started. And like he said, one of the something I've done, so you can watch it again, is not the only one. They have other people who are doing Christian drama, but it was a privilege that people knew about them. But when it comes to evangelical drama, not just biblical stories, um, the Lord make them as a pioneer. So let's go. And one of the pioneers, let me put it that way. So a lot of churches, who going to try his, his, his hands on producing plays based on biblical stories to the church congregation, some of the titles. And I told you the first drama he did is what? The Garden of Eden. After that, he did the throne, of God, the, the throne room of God, the throne of God. He did the throne of God. He did the devil's arrogance. Which scripts are still available today? That's the good news. Those scripts were still available till today. And I'm so excited. This success or the successes which attended the production of the plays and the consequent popularity they brought to him encouraged the man to try his hand in full professional practice. So from the church, it went to the full production. That's why I keep on telling people, God has not told me. He has not even told us in the ministry to raise only professionals. God has not told us only to raise anointed. He told us specifically, raise anointed professionals. Anointed professionals. People who know the Lord Jesus Christ. People who follow the Lord Jesus Christ. And they are also a professional. Because the anointing, we, 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 in fact, we do so many things that we never knew it was a professional thing. Because of the place of anointing. Because of the grace and the power of God being made available. So those are the things. And I also said we are trying to work on the, the set. So that where we can, where you can, I can go there, but I don't just want to make it a conventional thing. So that different places I can just, okay, future here, do the broadcast here, so that I can have a few of uh, different backgrounds and all that. So, but after fifth of um, November, we're going to re-strategize. We're going to be coming up, but we're going to be strategize of a particular uh, different things because I want us towards October. By October, by the grace of God, towards the middle of October, we'll be going to, we'll be doing. Sitting down and practical, sitting down, practical. And many of you who are in diaspora, if you cannot um if you cannot come to Ibado October first, if you cannot come October first, we are making some things available for you. It's gonna to be this, it's gonna be the said me. So you're gonna be looking at the Facebook.com slash the said me. That is where you'll be connecting with us that day to make the program for you to watch the program live by the grace of God. So uh, the ongoing the Yoruba class started yesterday. And some people are already trying to call, so I have to do this quick, and I will come back to it. Um, um, I will come back to it after the class, or when we're in the class, I will also show some things so that um, we can also see it by the grace of God. So uh, I want to appreciate you. So if you are, if you know anybody who wants to hear the lecture in Yoruba uh, after this after this class now after this live broadcast, I'm off to the class to give that Yoruba lecture. So wherever you are, wherever what we are doing, whatever you are privileged to do, uh, please uh, inform your friend. The, the venue is um, Faith Plaza, Bodewasimi Bus Stop, Bodewasimi Bus Stop, Faith Plaza, Faith Plaza, Bodewasimi Bus Stop, the, the Faith in Christ International Church. That's where we're going to be using. That's where we started using yesterday. So today, and it's going to stand, it's going to round off tomorrow. So we move to another venue on Saturday. So back to what I'm saying of what Hubert Ogunde did. This 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 man did a lot of things, and um, I've said in one of the videos I won't go. I just want to give you the professional practice. Consequently, he resigned from Nigerian police. You know, one of the videos I said he worked on the Nigerian police. He, he, he resigned from the Nigerian police and all that. So consequently, he, 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 it's 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 awesome that you can see what um, we have. So it brought to him the encouragement that he make a professional practice. He began to do things, and um, he resigned from Nigerian police, where he served as a good, very good number of years. This was in 1946, and it was the same year he established a professional troupe called Ogunde Musical Concert Party. Ogunde Musical Concert Party. So then he, he found he found an amiable partnership in pretty and dynamic lady called Clementine Ogumbule. Google, 
who later became Adeshewa Ogunde or Marine Hubert Ogunde. And I, I keep on saying something. This woman, when it came to the life of Hubert Ogunde, it was a real transformation. He did, this lady contributed tremendously to the growth of the group until a sudden death during a ghastly motor accident in the early 70s. And that's so painful because, <laughs> you know, there is a word in theater that says show must continue. And that's, that's what happened. The woman died, so, so, so affected, and they affected the man. But they said the show must continue, they must go on. And uh, later, he changed the name of the group, the troupe, to Ubat, um, to Ogunde Music Research Party. He turned it to Music Research Party. And Ogunde, later, he changed it to Ogunde Performing Company. And finally, before he died, before he died, he changed it to Ogunde Film Company. Immediately after the establishment of the uh, after the establishment of a professional troupe, um, Ogunde's theatrical presentation changed its focus from religious into political. In fact, to more radical issues like political issues, social divides, political freedom, and uh, freedom. In in his political plays, he has written a lot of things like hunger and strike, bread and bullet. Ogunde lost serious attack on the colonial masters, so much that they later tried to arrest him and ban his group. But this was altered by the popular outcry of people from the public who threatened to, to unleash civil unrest if Ogunde was not left alone. And if you want to see further of this, you can Google the BBC documentary about Hubert Ogunde. So you will see, um, I've watched it, I saw it and I'm so happy about that. And unfortunately, those are the people that have the record of this, this, this man. The videos are not readily available. And that's why I want to tell you. I want to quickly sign a note of warning to you as a drama minister. That little thing you think you are doing, document it. Why did I come on Facebook? I can, if, if I finish the, uh, the, the, the live broadcast, I have the choice to delete. I have the choice to delete it. I have the choice to post it. So, but most times I post it because it goes to the archive of the Facebook. Many years to come, people will watch this. The next generation will watch this. The next generation will know there is a there is an evangelical Christian drama, there is a pure Christian drama in this land, and how it started and all that. So don't please don't joke with your record. Don't joke with record. At this juncture, Ogunde decided to have a tour to Yoruba speaking, and that is where it become mentorship. <laughs> oh God! Many of us just think that is what you know is what, that thing you know. You don't know that somebody don't know it, and it can be of help to that person. And that's one of the things that came out as okay. Everybody may not come to Sedu. Everybody may not be able to come to the first drama film university in the world. Everybody may not be able to privilege to come. But let's come. Let's make those things available to them online. Let's also share it. And because this is just the beginning of a lot of online things. By the grace of God. So we're going to YouTube live. We're going to do a lot of things. By the grace of God, it's set already. So, and um, we, we believe God for, 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 for fun, for raise, for, 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 for resources by the grace of God. So nothing will stop us. So now, the, the Yoruba speaking areas, which has some place, he did, and he was staging it around, and success will be very resounding. Apart from the popular inspire many young, ap ap apart from popular ovation, or ovation rather, ap apart from popular ovation, he received, um, from his performances, there is this thought he went to. People have been hearing, young people have been admiring. They have been admiring him. Okay, wow, this man, this man, this man. So he, he, he got the attention that he got, he got many young people inspired. And part of those people, that many of them now say, I want to dive into professional theatrical practice. I also want to be a lawyer. I want to do drama. I want to do this. I want to do that. So, and one first among this group uh, was late Kola Ogumola, the father of the late um, Yomi Ogumola and present and Pedro Ogumola. And, um, you know, who was a school teacher at Ikerekite? He was a school teacher in Ikerekite. So this man moved from Ogun State. He traveled far, you understand, to Ikerekite to stage a drama. I want to chat. How many places have you been as a drama minister? Are you, are you excited to go around with nobody to pay you? Are you excited to follow the Lord when nobody is giving you opportunity? Are you ready to go to that primary school very close to us to stage a drama, do the publicity and say, please come, come and watch live drama at no charge. So, 
Um, late Ogumola spoke to Ogunde after the presentation at the Kere on his intention to start his own troop and the later promised to do everything to support him. And just like we have a lot of proper, a lot of support right now in Christian drama, we have we receive a lot of support. Now, from this, a lot of support, I mean encouragement. Anyway, whatever you interpret it to is okay. But what I mean is a lot of support, prayers, encouragement. Some will even give you fund to go for that ministration or to go for that thing. So from this point, the story of professional popular theater became a success galore in Nigeria as other groups sprang up in scores. Discuss in different places later. They, they, they include the Alawada Keri Keri, Awada Keri Keri. In fact, many people always confuse Awada Keri Keri uh, group, which is which was led by late um, Ojola Dipo, you know, with uh, Baba Salah, which is Awada group. Awada group is different from Awada Keri Keri. You know, you have to get it right. Awada group, if you are if you're in the eighties, early eighties, we are born in maybe um, early seventies, late seventies. You will be able to watch brief of the Awada Keri Keri, which I did by the grace of God. Now we have Baba Salah, which is uh, Moses uh, Moses Adejumo. Uh, we have um, the, um, Durola Dipos group. We have Aki Ogunbe's group. Aki Ogunbe's group. We have. Um, Quite a number of them. Oh, we have um, Afolanyo, you know, many of them started and all that. So let me quickly um, put it this way, that um, our group and was completed the success story. And let me tell you something. Something happened in a particular place that brought the theatrical production a life thing. I watch it too. It's on, you can, in fact, I watch it this year. Not because I've, I've thought about this thing. I've been teaching about this thing for quite some years by the grace of God, at least more close to 10 years or over 10 years. And um, after this year, let me look, let me, let me seek further. Let me go further and see if um, I can even see the video. But um, I don't even think I want to, when I, I found the Lord was showing us the, the presentation of Oba Koso. Oba Koso in 1965 won the first prize for Nigeria at the Commonwealth uh, Theatre Festival in which many troops from the Commonwealth countries, including England as well, came to to, to um came to, to to be part. They took part in it, and the play presented at the festival, which won the prize, was a popular obakoso. And now we have a lot of metamorphosis of uh, Shango, all of them, um, different people have written Shango and um, Obakoso. And Drew Ladikos Fiat um, at the festival boosted the image of the popular professional theatre in Nigeria. And consequently opened the floodgate to hundreds of groups which joined later. And that's one of the transforming power. You get it now? That's one of the transforming power. That's one of the things that, okay, now look at it. It started from the church. But we don't know when things went wrong. How from the church moved to social devices and, um, and political issues. And that is why Christian drama is not just a drama to just evangelize. Hello? Christian drama is not just a drama to evangelize. Because a lot of people have said this, oh, and we are to evangelize, we are to evangelize. Yes, it's more than evangelism. Christian drama is more than evangelism. When you evangelize, it's part of it. When you enlighten people, there is causing revival, it's part of it. So you don't just say it's to evangelize. When you impart the nation, turning the nation upside down, you give the nation a prostate, a prophecy through your drama. It can be a prophetic drama. It can be an anointed, powerful, prophetic drama that said, I believe in the change. Nigeria is going to change. Things is going to change in Nigeria. So the, the, the history of Christian drama started like that. And on and on, he has a something. Until the Lord got another people. And he started gathering them in groups. He started gathering them in groups. You need to watch the previous video. You understand? He started gathering them in groups. And now, Mike Bamiloye came on board. He came on board, he started guiding members, he started having people. I must not forget the impact of one man who wanted to start the first Christian film, uh, which is Kunle Ogunde, that was to start a Christian film, a Christian thing, and many of them were trying at that time. We have Isi Agboye, uh, Agwaye, we have um, later uh, Professor um, Foluke Ogunleye, Ogunleye. We have, um, we have quite a number of them, we have, um, um, if I remember again, I, I, I will tell us, we have um, Agoro, something like Agoro, something. So I will remember because I met with these people, I've seen some of them, and uh, even Amaka Igwe, he, he, she was, she was a, a fellowship person. All of them graduated in theater in um, UI. So 
and many of them had something to do with Ife, OAU now, and you know, in, you know, a lot of things happened that brought about the transformation of Christian drama. In fact, let um, Foluke Ogulaye wrote a thesis on Christian drama. It's still in record. If you go to UI, you will see it. She wrote a thesis. And I want to thank God for another brother who is really, in fact, I told him he must be, he must be, he must be, he must be a professor. And that is Solomon Edobo. Brother Solomon Edobo is really, really doing a lot of research with part of the thing um, in, in the course of the in cause of this thing by the grace of God. We're going to bring some of them uh, life. By the grace of God, we're going to bring some of them life. And we invite them live to, to also speak by the grace of God. So these are the things that the Lord is putting into our heart to put back to the world, to put the record, not just anything you are doing, please document it. Before the advent of Nollywood started, which they said 1992, Mount Zion have produced a movie in 1991, 1990, 1991. Yoruba people have produced it something. You know, when, when this theater started, the video production has started, because which I'm going to go to after those um, after this stage. I will still go to that. I just want to just let you know. Aaron Mirai started shooting with the video. But most of this thing, many of them, is that they don't record, there is no record anywhere. They were, no, they were not registered anywhere. Government does not recognize it. And that is why I follow the, la the law of the land so that you can prosper. Follow the law of the land so that you can prosper. So, the Christian drama now started, an evangelical Christian drama started early, early, early 80s. Evangelical Christian drama started early 80s, where some people gathered themselves on campus. On campuses, they begin to do Christian drama around, they do it on stage. They, are, they don't even know what it's called, because they don't know what to call it. The highest they can describe to church is that, okay, okay, is it like uh, good days? Uh, yes. Oh, is it? then some churches, some pastors, just it happened in the um, Renaissance, um, the Renaissance age, the liturgical, liturgical uh, period. It happened also that the church was against drama, that all these people they went to play and they put it in a drama. And some of them interpreted the word of God literally, and they said the Bible said they went to play. No, 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 no. That's not correct. That's not correct. So you know, a lot of things that discourage, they discourage, they discourage, um, they discourage so much. They discourage so much the Christian drama at that time. So some of those drama were limited. They were limited to church. They were limited to church. And it was unfortunately, unfortunate that if the church has embraced at that time, what we have today. In fact, I said that I, I say that and I'm going to say it again. That if Chief Uba Tugunde was not going to political thing, today there will not be anything called secular drama. I'm telling you. Today, there, are, there might have never been anything called Christ, um, 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 secular drama. Because if this man has stayed on that area and he grew up to be so great, I guess the church also discouraged. And the political people saw that, oh, they, they, we, political, political people were always like politics uh, or politicians. We always like people that, that can control crowd. They will come to where they know that they will have people, they have audience to talk with. So they want to come. And they say, can you write something about this nation? Can you write something on this thing? But let me quickly tell you, don't ever limit yourself. You as a drama minister, you can write something in nation with the biblical, with the biblical principles. You can transform the world with the biblical principles. In fact, let me tell you something. Every principle anybody is using, any government, any government in the world that is using, I tell you this money is a biblical principle. It's a principle that works anywhere in the world, and that is God's system, God's Christian kind of principle. You get it now. Principle don't change, it's the method that change. We say in Nigeria we don't have a we don't have a maintenance culture. What is in our ministry? Do we have a do we have a record culture? Do we keep records, pictures? Articles, do we write reports on every ministration we go to? And unfortunately, the history is so large. Is this is so large about Nigeria? A lot of people started later. A lot of people have done a great things, but no singular record. Recently, um Evangelist Mike Bamilo posted something. He said they did a very powerful first ministration, first and the last. The kind of opera. It's a kind of opera. Musical drama, powerful, but no record, no singular record. There was no record at all. There was no record, and that's so painful. They cannot, they cannot trace it. Nobody recorded it. 
And that is why you have a phone in your hand. You have some things in your hand you can you can bless the world with. Don't always leave the phone and just be doing... Take records. Please, take records. Take records. Take record of what you do. Because these are the things that is painful. These are the things that are so much painful that people don't have records of what they do. Sometimes I look at some things when I was getting tired, I was looking, I was keeping this thing. Why am I keeping this, all these records now? I just look at it at the time and say, won't I throw this thing away? But later I discovered that by the time I bring out some things, I, I saw a prophecy. Oh, wow. I was, I was going through the book. If, if you see my office, if you come to this office, and you will see that a lot. In fact, I don't know how many, maybe one, two, three, four, five, six. I think six bags full of books. Sometimes I keep the record of another ministry um, program I attended. I just saw this thing. I just saw a prophecy by Evangelist Maiba Milue about what is happening in Christian drama now. About 15, 12 years or 13 years ago. That the Lord gave the prophecy at Ife. I said, what? I brought it out. I said, Jesus, this is, this is awesome. The Lord said, I'm sending my people to the nations of the world. I'm sending them to African nations. I'm sending them to the nations of the Now, is, is it not happening? I was so excited about it. So, Christian drama history, he started in the church. He started in the church. And, and I want us to know, and I want us to, 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 to get this, that everything that started has a very wonderful thing. Now, I, I will have to leave you now, but I want to comment, and I want to quickly uh, appreciate those people that have joined. So, if you are there, mention your name so that I can also read your comment and your, and your name. Um, Olani Ke Justina Lu Shola, thank you so much for watching. God bless you. You have been a wonderful blessing. Femi Ola Lu are radiant. Good attempt. Keep it up. Yes. Uh, well, we need to see you, my brother. You need to see because um, you, are, you are one of the people that have been doing a great work. You have been doing a great work uh, in the media and even especially in the newspaper. We need to see you now. Share this vision with you also. Now, it's, it's, it's alive now. So, Akin Toye, Akin Wale, wow. God bless you, my brother. Say following, sir. Yes. Thank you so much. Akorede Bola Balogun. Akorede Balogun. I'm with you. Thank you so much, sir. And uh, please, if you're still there, please just mention your name uh, and all that. So any contribution you have, any anything, any question, please also pass it across. And some of the questions some people have um, asked online, offline, after I'm not there, that they have watched the video. You can share the video with your people. I am bringing those questions back and I say like every Saturday, any question that we have, maybe when I'm not there and um, is there, they are able to talk about it. So please um, drop your question, drop your comment, anything, you drop it um, in the next um, four minutes or three minutes, okay, two minutes, I have to be off to the class. I have to be off to the class. But within that time, let's see. Any comment? Any comment? Let me hear from us. Any comment? Any comment? And please, anytime you see us online, always invite a friend. Share it. Share this link. Share the, 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 the share button link. So please share it with other people. And after it. So these are part of the history that I've shared this morning. The history of Christian drama. So... Any any comment? So let me hear from you. I want to appreciate all of you. So I want to appreciate all of you. So you have comments? Comment, 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 comment. Okay, I'm still with you. We shall surely see by his great artifact. Yes, okay. Uh, we, we will see by God's grace. Right? So we will see. By the grace of God. So any comment, please. It's it's awesome to know the history. And um, today, like I said, I want to round off the history because um, a lot of things has happened. And I want to, okay, uh, I want to quickly look at that. So, Akintoye um, Akinwale said it has been wonderful. God bless you, my brother. Thank you so, so much. God bless you. God bless you. Um, as many people, okay. So please, okay. So let me let me let me hear from us and please drop your comments even after the, the the video. So like I said, the history was towards the church. It started in the church, and the church has taken over back. Church is taking it, and uh, when we go to the history of filmmaking a bit, 
like I said, I don't want to be bugging up with a lot of things so that it can be exciting and all that. So feel free, anytime you're online, share this button with other people and the Lord bless you. So till I come your way later, I want to say God bless you. Uh, see you very soon and when I'm in a class. You will see me in the class. We'll do the life, um, some of, just briefly, the life when I'm in the class. So, and please keep on, okay, let me, oh, two minutes. Good, 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 good. So two more minutes added. So thank you. Thank you. So two minutes. Let me add two minutes. Okay. Thank you. Two minutes so that I can um, actually talk about some of us who are watching. It's a great vision. Looking forward to see more practical courses through this medium. And God will help you. Amen. Yes. Because I said we started from the spiritual. We are now in academics. So the period we are now is on academics. And that is why you see me sitting down in a place, talking, talking. And we're going to be showing some practicals. We're going to be showing you some things. Now we're going to, like when we get to um, uh, today and tomorrow so, we're going to be showing you the, um, the stage management. I'm going to show you stage management, stage craft. I'm going to talk about it and all that. So we're going to show you some practicals. It's a promise by the grace of God. So like I said, we're following the curriculum of our training school. So we always start with the spiritual. So this usually become a basis for us. We go in and out and then... Um, uh we'll go to it then we go to academics because academics is one thing i want us to really really don't overemphasize or to overlook rather not to overlook you know, i don't want us to overlook it so so that we can get it right if you are into ministry you must understand not only spiritual thing you also understand the 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 the, 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 the academic things and all that and finally we're going to to the practicals so we'll be going after we finish that, we now be going interwovenly into all the three. We go to spiritual, we we'll come back to the academics, we we'll go back to practical, then we'll comb the three together uh, by the grace of God. So I want to appreciate all of you for comments, and I want to appreciate you for comments. I want to appreciate you for comments. So thank you. I have to go now. So I leave you with the grace of God. Go and prosper and go and make it. So the next time you're going to see, you see some of the things. God bless you. See you.